Hello, my wonderful lovelies. How is everyone out there doing today? I hope you're having a fantabulous day. My name is Jenny and welcome to my channel. So I'm just kind of sitting back, having myself a wonderful afternoon. I really am. I really actually am. I'm in a pretty good mood today. I actually got out of the house today and that's something I don't do. The last time I went out of the house, I went out of the house two times in the last over a month. I went out in October to go to my neurologist, and then I went out last month to have a COVID, de COVID test, which was negative. Um, but other than that, I haven't gone to the house. The only reason I had the COVID test done was because I had all the symptoms of it. And the doctor said it could have been a false negative. We don't know. I mean, I don't go around people, but my husband has to go out every single day to go to work. Um, he goes to the grocery store. He goes around people all the time. My son goes to the grocery store, so I mean, there's always a possibility of me getting it from them. I get boxes in. I had all the symptoms. I had the high fever. I had the body aches. I had the loss of smell. I had the loss of taste. I had um, the nausea. I had the diarrhea. I had like all that stuff. The cough, I did not have, but I had the chest pains. Felt like a monkey was sitting on my chest, not the elephant all the way, but a little bit of a monkey. Um, I felt like an elephant was sitting on my lower half of my body. I was extremely tired and I still am. I still have a lot of problems with that, but some of that could be the seasonal depression I get. We don't know, but the doctor made me quarantine and said, just in case you need to quarantine. So I'm just putting that out there to you guys, just to let you know that. So if you happen to win my monthly giveaway, just to let you know that, um, I did delay it because of the holiday, but I also delayed it just in case. I wanted to put it outside of my quarantine time, which my quarantine time is over. It's done. Um, and I did go out of the house today. My quarantine time ended. Um, but she said it could have been a false negative or it could have just been a virus. Um, the flu season is upon us. You never know. And there's so many things going around right now. We never know what it could be. But she just wanted me to play safe. And I can't really go around anyone anyway because I have an extremely low white cell count. If this is your first time here, number one, Thank you. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm glad to have everybody here. I'm glad everyone is taking the time out to spend with me on my channel. But if this is your first time here, I have a history of breast cancer. I was diagnosed almost four years ago. The ninth, it'll be four years. Um, and my white cells never recovered. I finished my last treatment. Um, May of last year was my last treatment. And my white cells never recovered. In the treatment that I was on, I had a year's worth of experimental drug that got FDA approved a year before I started taking it. And it was not supposed to affect white blood cells. It did with me. I was the guinea pig at my um, hospital center and I was the only one that was taking it. And I think I'm the only one that has. I don't think they ever gave it to anyone after I took it because the side effects that I had from it was side effects that weren't supposed to occur with that drug. I had hair loss a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, like in spots of through here. My eyelashes fell out again. Um, I had um, neuropathy that got worse while I was on that medication. I had the white blow cell, white cell count that dropped. Stuff that was not supposed to occur with that drug I had. I had TMI, but I tell you everything on this channel. I'll just let you know up front. If you don't like it, this is what I tell you. This is what I do on my channel. And I always spend the first five minutes talking about things in my life. So let you know that ahead of time too. Um, I had diarrhea is, was extremely bad with this medication. I was only supposed to have it for six weeks. I had it for the entire year. So all that happened with that medication, saying that my white cells never recovered. My white cells are 2.2, which is extremely low. So I cannot go out around people during the flu season, especially during the pandemic. Saying that, I had to get a CT scan done in my chest. I have lung nodules that have continued to grow. Um, I went because I was having trouble when I take really deep breaths. And if I like happen to overexert myself, like if I go down over the field, we have an acre, we're over an acre of land. So if I happen to walk down over the embankment and walk back up, I get really short of breath and it hurts like a burning sensation in my chest. So I happened to say something one day, they had a CT scan done and I had some nodules and some scarring in my lungs. They thought it was from the radiation from my breast cancer, but they weren't sure. So they sent me to a pulmonary care doctor who did. Um, a series of tests. The tests all came back normal as far as like lung capacitation, things like that. So they sent me for a follow-up CT six months later and the lung nodules had grown and the scarring had become more intense. Um, they waited six more months. They sent me back again. The, the, the nodules had doubled in size again. 
my husband went with me to that appointment and we're going to go a little past five minutes on on this round but anyway um and he went with me to that appointment and that doctor is like well you know yeah they, they've increased in size but you know they're not quite to where we need to do a biopsy so I, I think we're okay i'm not really going to worry about it husband was pissed he's like i don't understand why he's not worried about it because we're only three millimeters away from where it needs to be. I mean, three millimeters is not big, but when you're talking about someone with cancer, it is because we're three millimeters away from where we need to do a biopsy. And he's not concerned. And it's doubled in size with each and every scan. So why is he not concerned? I said, I don't know. He's a lung doctor, you know, and I don't know why he's not concerned. So he said, we need to call your oncologist. And I said, well, let's just wait and see what happens. So I went to my oncologist a couple of months ago and he says, well, I'm a little concerned, but with COVID, I understand why you're not wanting to rush to the hospital to have a test done. So let's just wait. I mean, it's only two more months to your to your test. If you wanna if you wanna speed it up, we can. If you wanna wait, we can. I said, well, I kind of want to wait. I really don't want to go out, you know, to the hospital. So they the hospital called me last week and said your insurance is denying you coming to the hospital. We need to send you to a different center to have your test done. And I said, that's fine with me because I like going to that center better. No offense, but I like it there better. It's quicker and there's like nobody there. There was like two other people there. I don't like going to the hospital. I just don't. There's too many people there. I don't, I don't like to wait for an hour before I have, to have my test done. I just don't. So they sent me there today and I got an email already from my doctor saying your results are in. However, we need to call you with the results. That's all I know. So as soon as those results come in, I'll make sure that I let you guys know um, whether they're good, bad, ugly. I have no idea. They could be perfectly fine. I mean, a lot of times they'll tell you that in email, you know, just to let you know that someone will call and, and discuss. But they said they had to call and discuss it with me. So I just wanted to let you know that I actually got out of the house today. You know, my son drove me because I can't drive because of my seizures. Um, I don't have the kind of seizures that where you get on the floor um, and convulse and things like that. My seizures are not like that. I have extremely bad migraines and then I go into sometimes I'll like stare off a loose train of thought and I smell things that aren't there that's the kind of seizures I have and I go on the 14th for my EEG if everything goes okay so just keep me in your prayers and my Mr. Gibbles thank you guys for your prayers prayer works my Mr. Gibbles is doing so well he's doing so well I don't understand it God had more important plans for him on this earth because he is doing fabulous. He's eating like crazy. He's drinking. He's running up on the porch and he's meowing and he's purring. It's a miracle. That's all I can say. So I am blessed with the time that I still have with him. Um, my husband ordered him an outside cat box. It's heated. It's got its own heater and everything in it. It'll be here um, later on this week. It's already been shipped, so it'll be here like any day. So we'll have his own. My husband had like, he has two houses outside for him. One in the backyard, one in the front. Well, actually, it's on the back porch and then the one's on the front porch. Um, like in the front behind like his bush because he likes hiding behind a bush. And they both have insulation in them, but this one actually has to heat it. It's actually heated on the inside. So he's really, like he'll be excited about that, but... Anyway, I sneak him inside when my husband's at home, so don't tell him. If you're watching this, honey, I love you. Hey, my lovelies. This is Mr. Gibbles. I wanted to insert this little clip of him in my video because you guys have been sending thoughts and prayers. And as you can tell, he is doing so much better. Thank you, Gibbles. You doing better? You doing better, Gibbs? Hmm? You doing better? Yeah? He still has a little sore there on his nose. Right there. Right there. My cat hand went outside cat house to feed it. And he's actually looking. He's inside. But he tells me to bring him in to give him lovin's. And that's what I'm doing. As long as I'm holding him, he tells me to bring him in. And that's a big step because Mike doesn't like cats. We doing Gibbs. You say hi to everybody. You see how my lovelies? <laughs> he 
He's kind of getting close to the camera, isn't he? I just wanted to insert a clip clip, a quick clip. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. A quick clip to show you guys how good Mr. Gibbles is doing. And to think, a week ago, he was literally collapsing in my arms. He couldn't walk. And look at him now. He's like chillaxing. Look at that. And purring. Making bread. Are you making bread? Are you making bread? Hear that purr? Listen. Let me go kiss the camera. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are like, okay, we're here to see a video. We're not here to look at a cat. But this right here, guys, if you watch my giveaway video, if you watched a couple other videos I did on Thanksgiving, I talked about my kitty cat that was almost dying. I thought he would be gone by now. And I just wanted to put a little clip in here to update you guys. So this is my gibbles. So thank you guys for all the thoughts and the prayers. They are greatly appreciated. And Mr. Gibbles says thank you. You say thank you, Mr. Gibbles. He says thank you. And one with the video. Anyway, we're here today to talk about the Chic Beauty Box. And if you are not familiar, I have one other video, which I will tag up here, where I got my first one. It's a bi-monthly box. It ships from Canada. It's $34.99 a month, and there's a $7.95, I think. Yeah, $7.95 shipping to the United States. It's all makeup, guys. There is no skincare in this box whatsoever. It's all makeup, and it's from drugstore all the way to high end, which I love because I can't get up to the drugstore. So if I can get it in a box, and it's red. Usually they're white. And the reason it's red is because it's a special holiday edition box. They put some extra high-end things in here for us. And if you follow them over on Instagram, they actually do sneak peeks. So you kind of get to see what's in your box. And then you get to guess. They'll put like swatches of things. And they'll say, okay, the first person that guesses this will automatically get this in their box. Um, I happen to guess one of the items. So they kind of told me that I was going to get the item in my box. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and I wasn't even the first person that guessed, but I was one of the first few that guessed, so I actually got it in my box. And then they also will send you an email. They did this when I first signed up, and I thought it was just like a one-time thing, but they do it every month. They'll send you an email, and they'll say, if you... And they also send you a welcome gift. You get like an extra thing in your first box. But they'll send you an email, and they'll say, if you could have this or this, which one would you want? And if you could have this or this, which color would you want? And you're not always guaranteed those items but you are pretty much in the running for those items. So last month, when I got to pick my items for this box, I got my email a little later than what I was thought I was gonna get it. And we were actually putting out, my husband wanted to get the Christmas stuff out early because he collects uh, the old antique ceramic Christmas trees. So that's what he put out this year. He did like a display, and if you saw on Instagram, I actually showed a picture of that. We were putting that out, and then I got the email, and one of the items I wanted was already gone and I'm like daggone that was really fast and it was in a Kevin Aquine highlighter and I don't pay that much for my highlighters so I was really wanting that one so I put on on Instagram I'm like darn I really wanted that one but I didn't get to the email in time and I'm like darn maybe next time and they said well send us an email and we'll see what we can do so I sent them an email and they were nice enough to email me back and they said we can't make any promises but we'll see what we can do so I want to open this because I want to see if I got it. I can't remember what the backup was. I don't know if it was a lipstick or something, but I'll be happy with whatever I get because I love subscription boxes. And if you haven't been here before, I do monthly giveaways once a month. And in that giveaway, I put in things that I can't use. I have a handy dandy little bag that I got from Macy's right here. I found a good use for it. So I take everything out of the bags or boxes and I put in here and I transfer it to my, my giveaway room is what I call it. And if you're wondering, you might not be, you probably don't care, you're here for a box. What's on my face? For my lips, I have the Fair Beauty. Look at this beautiful color. It's the lip gloss. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's what's on my lips. I think it's really pretty. You need to check out Fair Beauty Cosmetics. And then I'm using the brand new, the brand new guys, palette called the Boudoir Noir from ColourPop. Oh my God, guys. You know, you know, right? You know how much I love ColourPop? Look at that. I just got this in the other day. So I'm using that, and then I'm using one of their um, Super Shocks. 
and I got this from, um, it's called Tassel. I got this from, it was a set that I got from um, Ulta. I got a whole set of them for like 20 some bucks. And then I got 10% cash back from my Rakuten app. And then I got in, I know you really don't care about this, but I'm spending a little extra time today because I get out of the house. So my treat is to talk longer. But I got, this is a ColourPop. It's called Secret Crush and it's a blush. But that is what is on my face today. Is it coming in? There it goes. But that's what's on my face. And I'm going to show you because I really like the way it turned out. And I did not record it because I was getting ready to go to the to the uh, CT scan. And then I have my brows on. And a lot of people have been asking about my brows. But that's that's the way the look turned out. I think it's really, really pretty. I really do. Um, and these are the brows. And I actually bought a brow pencil. The Anastasia brow pencil. And I added some flicks of hair in. But um, the ones that I got before... And I'm sorry if you're here for the box and I'm talking about other stuff. But that's what I do. But these are the ones I had before. I got them off um, Amazon. And this is the number 09. was the style that I liked. So I ordered some more in. And then I heard this brand was a really good brand. So I ordered this brand in right here. And this is the box. But when I got these in, they're a little different. They come in black and brown. So you kind of, I made mine a little darker with, with that pen. So these are like, I actually flicked them in. So that's not the way they were. This is the way they look. And then I added in the extra. But when I got the new ones in, they're a bit different. Um, they're, they're, they're a bit different. That's all I can say. They're a bit different. They are, they're more red than these are. This is the back of it. And they're thinner. So if you look, they're the same style number, 09, but they're thinner. And they're more red. See? But they're the same arch, and that's what I like was the arch. So I got those in, so I'll let you know how they hold up. Um, I like them. They go in really, really easy. And I, like I said, I like that I can actually use that little braille pen, and I can flick extra extra hairs on. I really like that a lot. And I'm learning how to do them. I actually did them on my own the other day without using the sticker. And I liked it. Okay, so the first thing we get is a card. And like I said, it's the November-December box. And they actually have two variations on the back. So we'll see what variation I got. Okay, so the first thing I got, it was a choice. It's the Maybelline Face Studio brush. And the choice was either a powder brush or a contour brush. And I picked the contour brush. And if it comes in, this is what the label is on it. I hope I didn't mess with my settings. I have a feeling I messed with my... I took my camera off the thing a little while ago. And I think I touched um, one of the settings on here by accident. All right, so they're showing the top being torn off, I think. I don't know. I'm going to take the brush out because I like contour brushes. So we're going to see whether I like this one. And I really do not need to cover on it because I'm going to put it right here in my brush thing. And also, they have two other plans. If you want to just buy one box, it's $39.99. If you want to subscribe for the whole year, it's $189.99. Just to let you guys know that. I'm just going to tear this off. Cut it off whatever because i do not need i just don't want to brush out i don't need the whole thing and i can't figure out how to get the thing off there there's like a little tear thing but it's not tearing off all right i'm just going to cut the top and hope i don't cut the yeah, brush, brush itself there we go i'm having a day I'm having a day okay it should not this be this hard to get a brush out of a thing. It really shouldn't. Okay. Why is it being this difficult? Okay. I've never had a Maybelline brush. Oh, it's really soft. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. But this is what it looks like. So it would just fit like right in there. The one I currently use is my Luxie. And this is what it looks like. And I really like it. Because I can actually um, put it like right in here and it just goes right in there so i'm going to give this one a try i used to use my sigma i want to try this one and see see how it does whether i like it or not all right and the value of that is 9.98 the next thing we have is it is called around the clock 8 p.m and it's bare minerals and it's an intense cream glide eyeliner eyeliner waterproof and it looks to be black. Let me see. Yeah, it's a black and it's a gel liner. Reminds me of like um, some of the Tarte 
ColourPop type liners. Um, let me find the words. Yeah, I think I did. I think I must have messed with one of my settings because it's a little harder to, to come in. Oh, it's real creamy. And that's the color right there. All right, and the value on this is, um, no, actually the contour brush, I'm sorry, was $10.99, and this is $17. Okay, and this is the item that I was talking about that I picked, um, that I guessed what it was going to be, and it's the NYX Off Tropic, and it's a palette. Now I get to see what it looks like in person. Um, $20 value. Ooh, wait till you see the colors. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I have to open the, the uh, thing on it first. Everything's difficult for me to open today. I have to put my finger right in the green color. That's okay. But this is what it looks like. No smells, so that's good. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I want to look at that green. That's what I put my finger in. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to swatch just a couple shades on that top row. All right, it's not very pigmented. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. This this shade's very pigmented, um, but this shade here, I had to swipe it like three times, and that was that gold up here. But that's a couple of them right there. And I haven't tried a NYX for a long, long time. Um, there's some pressed pigments, eyeshadows. So some are pressed pigments. I'm really interested in this down here. Oh, look at this one, guys. This one right here. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is really, really, really pretty. I like that. Yes. Okay. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. All right. So, let's see. So, that's one, two, three things. Okay. Now, if I'm going on that variation, I should have two more things in here. So, let me see what else is in here. So the next thing is we have the Yves Saint Laurent and it is, it is, it is a glossy stain. It's a lip stain. And it is the color. What color is it? What color is it? It just has eight on it. It's color number eight. And it's, it's a really pretty red. I'll show it to you right there. And this actually isn't on my very, I'm, say, I'm showing variation two, but it's not on my side. It's on side variation one. That's weird. Because it was, supposed to be, it was, an, e, it was an Yves Saint Laurent box, but it's only one Yves Saint Laurent item in it. But it's not on that side. That's really weird. All right, this is the color. It's very orangey red. I don't know if that's me or not, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't... I don't think that color is me. I really don't. Yeah, I don't think that the color, that color is not me. I don't know if you can see it in there. Um, that looks a little too orangey red for me. This is the kind of red I like. I think this is going to be in a giveaway. I don't think that's quite my color. So I'm going to put this in a giveaway. All right, and the next thing... I got the Kevin Aquan! Oh, I'm excited. And this is actually, I got two things in variation one and two things in variation two. So they actually like made uh, my own box. How awesome is that, right? How awesome is that? That's why I love this box, guys. I, just, I love this box. This is like kind of moving up there, like as becoming one of my favorite boxes. It really is. And it's in a nice velvet case. Watch me not like it after I wanted it, right? And the price on this is 38 bucks. 38 bucks. And this is the case. So pretty. I have one of their um, mascara. It's the only thing I bought. I've got it. I got it like half price. And let me get my fingerprints off of it. And it is the same color as this. Look at this. Ooh. It's a really pretty gold. Now the other one was pink. I kind of like the pink, but we'll see. Watch me not like it. Oh God, keep your fingers crossed, guys. Ooh, pretty. This is what it looks like on the finger. Now, let me see. Let me put it here. You know, <laughs> I 
think I would have liked the pink better. I'm not really a big gold highlighter person. However, it's not that bad. Um, <laughs> not to be ungrateful. Oh, but I wish I'd have gotten the pink, you know, because it's kind of dark. I mean, if you look at it on this, look how dark that is. See how dark it is? I'm almost scared to put it on my cheek. It's more of a, um, a lid color maybe for me. Well, it's not that bad though. It's not really good for the eye, for the for the nose, but it matches my my uh, color I use. This is my um, my. It's called Get Paid. It's the gel liner I got also from ColourPop, but it's this color right here. Um, it kind of matches that. But I don't, I think it's good for my cheek. Like it looks really pretty on the cheek. But not on my nose. Like I don't think it looks good on my nose. But I think it looks good on my cheek. And I think it'd be really pretty on the eye, but not on my nose. But yeah, I mean, I'll show it to you again. And that's what it looks like. And if I do it, let's see, I do it on my hand. Um, let me do it here. I don't, I don't know. It's not, when I saw it like on Instagram, it looked more stunning. I don't know how else to put it. Um, I'm a bit disappointed and I hate to be that way. I can't get it to freaking come in. Um, I turned my lights down a little bit and it kind of threw my camera settings off a bit too. I don't know if it's because I'm so pale and the person they use, my camera's getting ready to cut off. Let me cut it off and turn it right back on again. Okay. I don't know if it's because the person was um, a different complexion than I was because it's not, it's not showing up the same on me. There's a better. That's a better representation of it, but it's more, it's like a peachy gold. Yeah, it's like a peachy gold. Um, it's not, it's not what I thought it was going to be. So it's a little depressing because when I saw that box, I was so excited. And it's just not what I thought it was going to be. I don't even know if the pink would have been, you know, but it looks really pretty on my cheek. I do like it on my cheek. Because you can see it. I mean, you know, it's really pretty on my cheek, but not on my nose. It's okay on my nose, but it's just too dark for my nose, I think. Um, but I like it on my cheek. I think it looks pretty on my cheek. I think it'll be really pretty on the eye. I do. Okay, so what did we get? We got the lip stain, which I'm giving away. So that will be in December's giveaway, which will be the last Saturday. Well, you know what? It is, it is Christmas this month, and it's Hanukkah this month. Um, Kwanzaa this month, too, and it's um, whatever you celebrate this month. Um, I might do it like I did for November's giveaway, which ends on December 7th. Don't know if this will be on by then. Um, I'm trying to think, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'm starting this one yet. We got a whole month to, to worry about that, but, um, yeah. I'm not sure when that, but anyway, we have... This palette, we have this, we have the liner, we have the, the lip, and then we have the brush, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have three items. Um, the palette was 38, that Lisa Laurent was 38. That's, wow, that's a lot of money. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the screen to save some time. I'm going to put here on the screen the value of my box because they had one here $125.97 or $122.99 for the two prices. And mine was somewhere dollar two here or there. Um, and there's also a bonus choice item for the Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo that you could have gotten. And I actually have that. Um, and that's this right here. Um, yeah, this is what you could have gotten as well. And I got this in my box last month. So that's actually what you could have gotten. And this one actually has a little bit of a sparkle to it. So it's a little bit of a sheen. Um, that's what I got in my box last month. And I've used it a few times and I like it. It's nice. Anyway, what do you guys think? What's your opinion? 
do you like the box? I freaking love this box. I really do. I love the fact that it's all makeup. Um, that it's like I said, high brand or high end, low end. Not low end is quite the right word, but high end and drugstore end. Because um, if not, I probably wouldn't try the drugstore brand because I just don't go out. Um, but I do get Makeup Revolution though. I order that online, so I do get some low end or drugstore end. I don't even think low end is the correct, the, the correct word. I really don't. I think that's like a bad word to even say because all makeup, there's no such thing as a low end. Really, there's not. You know what I'm saying? Even drugs, even dollar store is not low end. It's still, it's makeup. You know, it's like almost not even correct and saying anymore. Um, my favorite thing out of the whole box. I like, I like the colors in this palette. I really do. I think the colors are absolutely freaking gorgeous. I mean, oh, I just now did this color. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at the, the mattes in this. Usually I'm a shimmer. The mattes in this palette are fantastic. Look at that. The mattes. It's all about the mattes. It's all about the mattes for me, guys. I mean, these mattes are fabulous. They are fabulous. They really, really are I mean, they really are. The mats are fabulous. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking that that's probably going to be my favorite item. That liner. I like that liner a lot. I'm a little disappointed in the Kevin Aquan. I'm not going to lie. I, yeah, I'm not. I was so excited when I opened that box and I saw that. But it's okay. Um, I'm so appreciative that they did that. I think that is ama amazing that they actually gave me that, you know. And they've been great. They actually, the CEO of the company sent an email out to people welcoming them um, to Chic Beauty. And I thought that was just amazing that they did that. Not many companies do that. I mean, I never got anything from Ipsy and, and uh, uh, Boxy Charm. You know, I got something from Chasing Unicorns. I got something from um, um, Flying With Air. I got something from Lydia over at uh, Butter Vipo. I talk to her all the time, guys. And I'm getting ready to get my my monthly box from them it's coming soon so i'll be doing my monthly um subscription box unboxing with them as well but let me know what you think about chic beauty i will put the information below um it's just a regular sign up link it's not like a affiliate link or anything like that because they don't have that kind of program with them yet and do not forget to check on instagram because like i said they do put um sneak peeks and they have like contests they run and things like that on there that you can check it out but yeah, I love it. I love this box a whole lot. I'd give it a four out of a five this month. And the only reason I'm not giving it a full five is because um, they made a big deal um, on uh, Instagram about it being a full Yves Saint Laurent box. It's really not. I mean, there's only three things that was Yves Saint Laurent. And it was the glossy lip stain. There was a metal eye, liquid eyeshadow. And then um, a blush that you could have gotten. So there's only three things you could have gotten two in one box and one in the other and they don't they don't encompass the whole box but i guess it's because they're such high dollar items i mean one was 38 one was 30 and one was 40 that you could have gotten in your box but the way that they were playing it up in the beginning was that it was going to be like um a full Yves Saint Laurent box and it's not so that's the only reason but the i don't know of any box that would really be a a, a, a full five for me um and maybe. I'm just not, I'm not a big Maybelline person. I'm allergic to the Maybelline cosmetics. I'm allergic to CoverGirl cosmetics. Um, but I'm glad it was just a brush. So, I like the fact that they gave you the option of a contour or a powder brush and didn't just throw a brush in there. So, I do like that they gave you that option. Because, I mean, I have 200 and some brushes sitting here. But I don't have a lot of contour brushes. So, I'm glad that I had that option to choose one or the other. So yeah, I love that they give you options. I love that part. That's one of my favorite things about this box is that they do send you that email and give you the option to choose, you know, an either or kind of thing. And then it's all makeup. And it's bi-monthly for $34.99, you know, and you $7.95 shipping. To me, it's worth it. I mean, it's a little pricey. You know, it really is because you are getting the drugstore products in there. I mean, you're getting, you know, the Maybelline and Revlon. Like one of the, because the other box had, you could have gotten a, a Revlon Color Burst Balm Stain. Um, and that's it. Two, you could have got a Too Faced Moisturizer. And then the other items I'll list it for you. Other than that, everything else was top. You know, it was top of the line. It's a good box. I like it. I'm going to keep getting it.
Do you guys get Chic Beauty? Do you like Chic Beauty? Do you want to get Chic Beauty? You might want to get it for somebody for Christmas. Well, you can't get it for Christmas now, but you get it, you know. There might be still boxes left. There might be, you never know. But you could always get it, you know, like and put a little card in, in there and say, I got this for you for next year because their next box will be the January February box. Yes, the January February box would be the next box. So the next time you see me doing this box would be the January February box. Yes. I had to think there for a minute. Yeah. Anyway, I'm done. I just, for some reason, I just want to keep talking to you all. I just want to keep talking and talking and talking, but I get boring. And then nobody watches my videos because nobody watches my videos. Really, guys, seriously. You might see 500 and some subscribers, but you want to know how many people watch just my videos on a regular basis? Like 30. Seriously. Like 30. So share. Share my videos. Like, subscribe. Please. Yeah, and then follow me on Instagram. Follow, just go there. Get over. Go. Go. But before you go, stay safe. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. And come back and see me again. Take care, guys. Bye.